Hello, this is Dr. J, back with some more Let's Play Cosmic Star Heroine. We're trying to complete the quests here in town. Looks like we're going to need to figure out where that painting is and retrieve it in order to get the invitation to the connoisseur's party from the art gallery. And the last thing we heard was that the painting thief was here at the, uh, at the hotel, but we didn't see her when we went in there before. Well, I guess let's go in there. Oh, hold on. What's going on here? Oh, you're the one who had the lucky coin. Okay. Oh, that's where we get the voucher for the free outfit. Okay. I was wondering about that. That takes care of that then. Oh, I didn't check out this terminal. Weather report. What kind of weather could there be underground? Okay, they show the surface weather. All right, that makes sense. New Roman weather. Hot and stale every day. Makes sense. Oh, and the radiation levels vary. Okay, fair enough. Crime report. Potential criminal activity at the Las Rocas Casino Grand. Is the Mafia involved? Continues to be raided by bandits. Travel restricted. Okay. Alright, well. Take two of trying to find our painting thief. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's actually legitimately foreshadowing. Alright, we already talked to all these people and nothing has changed. Oh boy, my cat is now sitting on my lap and sitting on cords. Alright, make yourself comfy, girl. Hello. How are you? Okay, this is the only room I can enter. What the heck? Ah, I just needed to investigate her room more. Understood. I've already made copies, okay? <laughs> so are you a painting counterfeiter then? Oh boy. Well, whatever, we can return the original. Apparently we don't care enough to turn her in. Fair enough. I don't know why we would bother. We have bigger fish to fry than a painting counterfeiter. Here you go. Sure did. All right, now we have the invitation. Right, Lord Enzo is his proper name. Now let's just go get that outfit. Now that we have the free voucher so we don't have to drop nine Gs. Uh, nope, was one building down. I do have a voucher. We have a party dress. Look at us go. Alright, I think we're done here in town then. Now, onward. To glory. I'm gonna try the mines first, actually. I don't think we're supposed to go there yet. But who knows? Maybe it's uh, an optional dungeon that we can go to right now. Got extra experience and credits. Wait, we have to fight the little green kitties. Okay, well, they don't insta-kill us, so that's a good sign. 3,000 HP is quite a lot. The wild Eutherians, they fall into insanity. The junk crab, high defenses but easily shell-shocked. Which is both a pun and I assume means it's easy to stun. So if it's easy to stun, can I hit it with Confound? Looks like the answer is yes. Get our defenses online. Okay. And even though we're not taking much damage, let's take the fight seriously, get the regen going.
What's the Enviro hack do here again? A heal, I think it was. Hmm. Retract your claws, girl. That kind of hurts. Speaking of wild Utherians. There you go, that's better. Thank you. I'll see if I can charm any of these guys. You have any Altharian groupies, Lauren? Yeah! He loves her music. Alright. A hyped Void Blast should do an enormous amount of damage. Oh wow, we one-shot an enemy that had over 2,000 hit points left. Let's microphone the crab. Oh wow, we stunned it again. It really is easily shell-shocked. Alright. It seemed like they had a lot of hit points, but actually that was a pretty easy win. Okay, just a dead end over here, it appears. A bomb. Use this in combat for a big explosion. That sounds potentially quite good. I like the poison. I like the shield breaker. I like the potion. The Aegis theoretically sounds good, but I haven't really used it, have I? The bomb might be better. Can hit multiple enemies, or may hit multiple enemies. Fire 150%. Targets a medium area. Sounds good. I think my cat was offended when I tried to move her foot so she wasn't stabbing me. Huh. Okay. I didn't see any mines. Okay, that looks pretty Cthulian. Or at the very least, save your game. Yeah, good advice. Yeah, I think this is an optional super boss right here. Sure, let's fight it just to, just to demonstrate. Oh, hey Cthulhu. I think that the um, developer, Zaboid Games, prior to this one, made a game called Cthulhu Saves the World or something like that. I never played that one, but this is probably a reference to that. Alright, well let's see how quickly he kills us. Yeah, pretty quickly. Well, that sure is music. One of the few tracks in the game I'm not terribly fond of. Over a hundred thousand hit points, okay. Sure, I'll stun him. Hey, I actually survived an attack. Look at me go. Let's check out the bomb. Let's just see what it looks like. Fairly respectably large area. Okay, yeah. Predictable outcome. I don't think I ever did defeat Cthulhu. Uh, even in my original playthrough. I don't know if maybe it would take an enormous amount of grinding or some kind of special items I never got or what. I'm not really sure. I think chances are high I'm not going to defeat him in this playthrough either. I'm not trying to 100% the game. Uh, I'll get everything I reasonably can, but anything that would require a ton of grinding or take a huge amount of time for other reasons is not happening. 
Okay. So, I didn't actually see anything that looked like a mine over in that direction, but, uh... What? I've already forgotten what item I got over there. I got something. How could I forget that fast? Oh well, whatever. <laughs> what are you? You're kind of horrifying looking. Doesn't it look a little bit like the thing we fought on the API flagship? Buffalox. Harvested for their juicy meat. I don't think I'd want to eat something from that. It looks really slimy. What's it vulnerable to? Fire. Good to know. Alright. Let's see. Hey, it worked. I'm actually a little surprised. Okay. Can we poison it? Sure can. Actually, how's a hyped pacifist smash do damage-wise? Pretty good, I'd have to say. Would have one-shot it, except that pacifist smash literally can't do that. Alright, that wasn't much of a fight. Yeah, like I said, it's not so much that they even have tile sets so much as they just create a huge image for for each of the areas you explore. Sort of like uh, they did in PlayStation 1 Final Fantasy games. It's pretty cool. I like it. Well, it was so weak that even with two of them, I don't think this is going to be especially difficult. Let's get the regen up. Alright, and that pacifist smash was pretty effective. So we'll do it again. Finish him off. Let's see. And with fire, and then echo it again next turn when she's hyped. What one, one damage. I'm so scared. Alright, now that you're hyped, go ahead and toss a... Actually, use your uh, Void Blast. Beautiful. Actually, what did the sign say? Right, Las Rocas is to the east, I thought so. So, always go in the direction of plot progress last, as we've discussed many times. Three junk crabs, nothing to be scared of, I reckon. Pretty routine. It's been the case for a while now that we have been more than strong enough to handle the fights pretty handily. There have been a couple challenging ones, but for the most part, it's been very comfortable for us. Alright, um... Yeah, go ahead and toss a bomb. Shoot at all three of them. Nice. I might be making quite a bit of use of that item. Hmm. 
get stunned or or disarmed either way. Here we go. Owned. Alright, now that guy's stunned. Excellent. That was not an impressive amount of damage. It really matters in this game using the right attacks or in the right combination. If you just use whatever, the, the damage might not be there. But if you're hyped and inspired and target an enemy's weakness, then the damage can be pretty incredible. Kaching indeed. Bandits. In league with some kind of slime bovine creature. Oh wow. 4800 hit points. These guys are serious. It's grasp on the first law, maybe shaky. Nice. All right. Well, in that case, we know what to do. All right. Can you charm any of these robots, then, Dave? That needs a sound effect. Also, your charm failed. Leave Lauren alone. What is wrong with you sick jerks? Alright, well, I'll have a hyped flood. A hyped inspired flood at that. Uh, tell you what, Dave. Here, have an opportunity to, uh, to heal Lauren. With a floppy disk. Only 65. Good grief. That's not much of a heal. What, why do they have it in for Lauren so bad? Okay, good. Man, just stun one of them. I'm trying to spread out my damage intentionally for the upcoming AoEs. Not this. This is not an AoE. We should weaken that guy a lot. Excellent. Now here comes the AoE. Okay, that didn't kill anybody, unfortunately. Now I think it's time to focus fire. Okay, five hit points left. Almost killed that guy. There we go. Only one left. That worked out. Your default attack is not impressing me too much, Chan. Alright. Disarmed. Excellent. Have a height to drown. And you're weak to water. Excellent. No. Oh. Controlled explosion that may hit multiple enemies for Chan. A cheat code for Dave, a buff, next move deals more damage. Oh, wow, everybody except Alyssa got a new ability. Soul Stealer, Burst inflicts Curse. That works on spectral enemies, as I recall. Ignores resistance and enemy type when style is maxed. What is max style? Like 200% or does 100% count as max? Anyway, we might want to do some rearranging because some of those sounded pretty good. 
so what have I not used of Chan's much? I use Echo, I use Focus, I use that, I use Fortify. I haven't used a pick-me-up gun much, but if I get hit with a really nasty ailment, I'll want to have it. Her default gun attack has been kind of pathetic, in all honesty, so maybe I want to replace that. There we go. Uh, how about Dave? What have I not used much on him? I don't think I've ever used Grind. Maybe I should replace it with Cheat Code. Hmm. Buffer Zone? I think maybe I should replace Patch with Buffer Zone, because Buffer Zone kind of just sounds straight up better. I do use System Crash. I do use Hack. I do use Confound and EnviroHack. Yeah, I think Grind is the one I'm going to replace. There we go. And Lauren. Are there any of yours I basically never use? I basically never use Desperate Stab, but it could be very good in the right circumstances. Hmm. I'm not sure I actually want to replace any of hers right now. Alright, let's backtrack a little just to see if we missed anything. I think this took us to right that chest. Okay, it's just a circle. Going shopping. Never gonna stop making that joke. You cannot look at Alyssa's walking animation and tell me it doesn't look like she's on a power shopping trip. Okay, looks like that also just circles back. Alright, well, more enemies to fight. It's an RPG, sometimes you just fight a lot of enemies, that's fine. Okay, the junk crabs are tougher than the buffalo oxes. All right, cheat code. I think we'll want to use that right before he gets hype. Sounds good to me. All right, let's start by stunning one of these guys since they're so easy to stun. And, yep, as usual, have Chan buff our defense. That poison effect is annoying. Okay, turn two, or round two. Get the regen going, hit him with the flood. We do have a bit of a routine going now, don't we? Alright, cheat code time. Oh, I can use that on anybody, not just himself. All right, focus. Next round is when we do some serious damage. Warren's getting a little messed up. See if I can stun this guy. Oh right, that doesn't, yeah, it does stun, yeah. And Hit him with a pacifist smash. Here we go. All right. We've been cheat coded. We're hype. This void blast. Who has the most hit points? That guy. Oh, wow. Was that overkill? Good lord. That is some serious damage. Tough one, eh? A Protama. Okay. Heal Tama is heal up 92. 114 is a big bonus for the professional gunmancer. And defend plus 15, defend effect up. 
Yeah, I think we'll do it for the upgraded attack power. Better healing is nice, but so far I haven't really been in desperate straits in terms of my hit points or anything anyway. Okay, and that just circles back. Oh, geez, just two Robo Bandits? Come on, guys. Throw a challenge my way. What is this? So these guys are vulnerable to water and lightning. Got it. Alright, not too hard to stun either. Regen. Blood. No, I meant to cheat code Dave, I forgot. It doesn't automatically cheat code him. Dang nabbit. Oh well. Let's remember that for next time. When did Dave become such a tank anyway? The things around here can't even touch him. Excellent. Alright, well even without the cheat code, I think this Void Blast is... Yeah, gonna hit like a truck. Oh, okay, that did more damage to him. Oh, right, I forgot. He has a piece of equipment on that increases his defense against the first attack. That's why the first attack each fight has been doing almost no damage to him. Wow, that's a pretty strong effect then. Let's finish this guy. Ahem. I said, let's finish this guy. You know, we are a team. We're really coming together. Alright, looks like that probably goes to the city. What the heck is this? Aha! It's another chest. Megaphone. Accessory for Lauren. Make Why would a megaphone make poison more deadly? Oh, well, let's not question it. Hmm. Do I want to make her poison or her poison? Did I just say poison or poison? Her charm or her poison better. I'm actually not entirely sure. Let's keep the cutesy mic on for now. Alright, looks like this will be the town then. Let's have another longer episode and actually enter the town. Ah, huh, looks like we can keep going though. What happens if we keep on going? Oh, is that the subway, which is currently not in service? Yeah, that's all it is. Okay. We have one, but let's not show it yet. Let's check the whole place out. Gentle bot. I like the gentle bots. They're pretty cool. I like their top hats. I want a top hat like that. And a cane. Looks stylish. The suspicion, you say. I'd say it kind of oozes bad vibes. Sounds like the skimmericks are really having problems. Oh, I can't interact with that terminal. How inconsistent. Station 5, you say.
Oh, wait, what? Wasn't this down for repairs or something? Have I been able to go in here all along and I just missed it? I thought the subway was under repair. How about the weather? What what a great small talk quip. That's about the uh, caliber of my own small talk. I am terrible at small talk. <laughs> it's one of various reasons I dislike social gatherings. Talking with strangers about random meaningless nonsense is just not my forte. Okay, maybe it was down for repairs, and now that I... Okay, I think I see. So in terms of game design, it wanted me to go there on foot once so that I had to fight through the monsters and get the items and so on. You know, take the usual RPG journey. But now that I made it so that I don't have to do that journey every time I want to go between the towns, now, conveniently, the subway's been repaired, so now I can actually take it. I understand. Okay. Looks like, unlike um, the uh, western town, which had a fair number of buildings, this one only seems to have two. The connoisseur's place, Enzo, I think was his name. And the other casino, which it looks like it's not going to let me in. No, it's closed. Yeah, and so, okay. Well, I guess, uh, let's do the party then, shall we? Save first real quick, and... Yep, here's my invite. All right, I guess the rest of you are going to have to wait outside. Sorry, fellas. It really is a party dress. Looking sharp. Looking very sharp there, Alyssa. Only top-notch, top-quality people such as yourself. That's quite the uh, flattery. Is, uh, is Alyssa's menu portrait updated? I doubt it. No, I'd have been really impressed if it was, so. wonder if any of her dialogue portraits will be updated. Artifacts, you say? Hmm. Suspicious. Oh, sure, go for it. Oh, wow, they really did update her, uh, her dialogue portrait. That's pretty cool. <laughs> nice work. Oh wow, the whole gang has infiltrated this place. You're not kidding, Lauren. It really was easy to break in here. Kind of a strange choice of background music here. This is the Astria theme song, right? I guess it's just kind of uh, expressing that we are heroically infiltrating the mob boss's gala. An asteroid skirting the reaches of Zivani. Hmm, more foreshadowing, I'm pretty sure. Tug on lampposts and push statues. Understood. That's uh, quite the interesting fountain. The water is very green and mutagenic looking. And the uh, plants too. Well, I guess that makes sense given the backstory of this planet. 
Ah, uh, there's no way. I think you're just a conspiracy theorist. You should listen to everything the government ever says. Amazing that they somehow managed to arrive at the correct conclusion. Aren't we all? Hmm, suspicious. By the way, that makes me... that reminds me... <laughs> I feel like a real secret agent. Oh, Alyssa. Hmm, so many secret conversations going on here. Alright, so we've seen Lauren, we've seen Sue. They both seem like the type who'd be pretty good at infiltration type stuff. Is Wait a minute, was that a painting of Cthulhu on the wall? Are you talking about C-3PO? Oh no! <laughs> that wasn't a reference, you're actually talking about her... Robot in, uh, in the game. Okay, so that's going to open a secret door. Before we do that, let's finish exploring the place. For example, let's get a closer... That is absolutely a painting of Cthulhu. That's hilarious. Don't know who that is. Somebody from another of Zaboid's games, perhaps. I promise I will totally not try to break into his office. Interesting. Is that- that Skimrix is totally wearing a cowboy hat. That's kind of hilarious. Oh! I got Gentle Boss schematics. Awesome. I guess I can go fix that one robot now, because all you need is the diagrams and you can totally fix sophisticated electronic and mechanical devices. Hmm, no one's seen him in a while, you say. The Enigma, known as the Connoisseur. Is he a mystery wrapped in an Enigma? All right. So we need to figure out the passcode. You know, it's kind of in plain sight of an awful lot of people. Not sure if we'd want to just punch in the passcode in front of everybody. Let's fix up this robot. Hmm. Oh, cool. What if I, uh, move this candle? Okay, so there's multiple secret entrances. Interesting. Ah, I can listen in on the secret conversations. That's quite the name. Ends with how old he is. Okay. Am I am I gonna have to write this down? Hang on. Hopefully I won't have to edit this out like I edited out the uh, logic puzzle. Because watching me solve that just would have been entirely too boring. Alright, let me write down that clue. Ends with Enzo's age. Is his name going to matter? Dr. Enzoridian Gastonius Formaldehyde. I guess I might as well write that down. Dr. Enzoridian Gastonius Formaldehyde. There we go. All right, how about this one? Starts with Enzo's middle name. Okay, so Gastonius. Starts with Enzo's middle name. So these people are trying to figure out how to break into his office too. Everybody wants to break into this guy's office. 231 years old. That is pretty freaking old. 
All right, so it ends with two, three, one, I guess. Are those all the clues then? So his middle name is Gastonius. How does that translate into a number? Can you shed any light on this, Lauren? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured that out already. Okay. Not, neither of them has anything to say. So I have to figure out how Gastonius becomes a number. Oh! Okay, I was thinking it was all digits. And also that I was going to have to enter it myself. I... okay. <laughs> the game took care of it for me. Well, that was easy. That wasn't even really a puzzle. I'm almost a little disappointed after they had that neat logic puzzle. It would have been cool to have something similar. Spy powder. <laughs> Perfect. No! Oh, you know who I am. Okay, well, we're just getting straight to the point. A schemerics scientist by the name of Saib. Wanting to buy the Lumina device. Of course this happens. Apparently we got changed back into our regular outfit before we were thrown in jail. Good job, guys. Um... Uh, is it like the ultimate disco bot? He sure gets the music. <laughs> I love Lauren's expression. Kind of sums it up, doesn't it? We are pretty square. Wait a minute. Is this... Was that NPC who talked about a robot who hits on anything female, robot or otherwise? Was she talking about this guy? Wait, what? Did you actually charm the door into just opening for you? This is some pretty good theme music, I gotta say. He dances his way into <laughs> this game, man, this game. I didn't buy upgraded gear for these characters! Well, I mean, I did for Lauren, but not for Sue. I, that's true, I don't. I would like to save, however, so that I can do an outro. Maybe I have to find my gear and then I can open the menu. Why are all these spider bots in prison cells? And I actually did buy Sue some upgraded gear. I'm not sure he has the latest and greatest, but... At least he doesn't have his default starting weapon. I know, I know we do. Where is it? Imagine having to use the toilet in a cramped cell in front of three other people. Embarrassing. Alright, where's our stuff? Okay, I needed to interact with this. Well, most of it. Ah, the Lumina device is missing. Seriously, though, this guy's Steam song, Clark Steam, it's amazing. What's Insight say now? Uh, fair enough. I don't think most people expect their day to go like that. All right, well, I think that's a good point to call it an episode. Next time, we're going to break out of the mob's jail. And now we have a lead on where the Lumina device or the counter to it or whatever is located. 
So hopefully we'll be able to take advantage of that in the next episode. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I shall see you then.